And Eugenia Zuckerman joins us now. Good morning, Eugenia. Good morning, Charles. Eugenia, we had uh, a while back a really mass exodus of musicians from the old Soviet Union to the West and, and in many cases here to the United States. What has become of all those people? Well, in the world of music, many of them have gone on to have careers in music and some of them haven't. I think that those who have made it here in the world of music have a formula that somehow involves courage and ingenuity and luck. And the duo piano team from Ukraine, whom we're about to meet, also have a tremendous optimism about life and I think a deep and abiding trust and faith in each other. We're so lucky in this country that our artistic life continues to be strengthened and enriched by these intrepid immigrants like Valentina Lisitsa and Alexei Kuznetsov. Bow and out. Bow and out. <laughs> Valentina Lisitsa and Alexei Kuznetsov met 10 years ago. They were both students at the Kiev Conservatory of Music in the Ukraine. I thought she was a fantastic pianist. I tried to learn many things from him. They were each studying to be soloists when they happened upon some music written for two pianos. We started with very few pieces, and we said, oh, look, it's, it's a tremendous music. Let's do something about it. And we, and we played some of the pieces, then we put together a recital, and people loved it. So much so that they won first prize in a chamber music competition in the Ukraine. Then, seven years ago, they decided to enter the Murray Dranoff International Two Piano Competition held in Miami. At least Valentina felt that they should enter. I was always against it. I thought we would never win here in competition. He's very safe. You know. I, he I, want saw, I thought we, we didn't have any chances. There was so much work to be done to prepare for the Miami competition that Valentina moved her baby grand piano to Alexei's house. And then we had to get married. Because it's very strange if I spent all the time in his house. <laughs> they took first prize in the competition. The publicity and prize money helped them get started in the United States. They studied in Indiana and then Texas, and then four years ago, they moved to Miami Beach. That was the part of choosing the Miami to live because it's so different. The uh, weather is different. Everything. It was the first place that we visited in the USA, and we thought it was just marvelous, spectacular place, and we always wanted to come back. We really like it. Duo pianists have the daunting task of making their two instruments sound like one, while maintaining their musical individuality. Valentina Lisitsa's fire and Alexei Kuznetsov's meditative approach blend into a duo piano team of enormous sensitivity and virtuosity. When they started their career in the former Soviet Union, finding music written for two pianos was often very challenging and dangerous. For example, when we were in Russia, we would sneak into, when we would go to Moscow, we would sneak into Central Library, Lenin Library, with photo camera. It was illegal. All stuff which was not even sometimes published or not performed, and we would never hear, and it was such fun. <laughs> Valentina has also begun to establish herself as a successful soloist. That comes as no surprise to Alexei. I always thought that she was a tremendous soloist. She sometimes makes me cry because the things that she's doing, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's not humanly possible. But obviously I see it and I see it close by, I gotta believe it. I was 
used to see Alexei, I heard for, to look for him for support, and suddenly he wasn't there. So first few times when I started my solo career, I did feel uneasy about it. Then I got used to it. And even when Alexei is not there on the stage, Valentina feels his presence and his contribution to the performance. We work on the piece, we live through pieces together, we discuss it a lot, and he helps me, of course. Valentina Lisitsa is a frequent guest artist with her new hometown orchestra, the Florida Philharmonic. James Judd is the music director. She has fantastic fingers and she has tremendous power from this rather slender frame, long fingers. So all the notes are there, but there is something that goes beyond that. To hear somebody who has this poetry and imagination and uh, lyricism I think is very unusual and that's what swept me away. On this night, she performed the rarely heard and challenging Rachmaninoff Fourth Piano Concerto. And then instead of relaxing during intermission, the energetic Valentina got ready to tackle Rachmaninoff's formidable second piano concerto. Charity by Rachmaninoff last night. It's just staggering, staggering um, thing to do. And yet you seemed very relaxed. Are you never nervous? Well, I'm nervous for a piece or for a composer, not for myself. It's mostly not nervous, but excitement. It's great excitement of what you have to live through on the stage. Valentina's extraordinary playing energizes him and only enhances the growth of their two piano career. I don't think you can sustain anything if you're not growing. It's, it's very hard to keep it on the same level. It's either going down or up. But it's always about taking the risk. <laughs> Valentina Lisitsa and Alexei Kuznetsov have taken many risks in their lives, from sneaking into the Lenin Library to starting over in a new country. We started Tarantola too. It is that willingness to take risks that makes their piano playing so exciting and their artistry so alive.